We know that black clouds are more likely to bring us rain than white ones, but what makes them change colour? For this experiment, we'll be using an old-fashioned overhead projector, two transparent dishes, some black ink, some milk and some water. First, put some water in each dish and place them on the overhead projector. They should look the same. Now try adding a little milk to one dish and a little ink to the other. If you look at them directly, one looks white and the other black. But if you look at the projected image, they both look black. What's going on? Looking at the dishes directly, the milky dish appears white because a lot of the incident light is reflected or scattered. The inky dish appears dark because incident light is being absorbed and re-radiated at a different wavelength. The image on the screen is identical, but the darkness is caused by different mechanisms. Light incident on the inky water is not transmitted to the screen mostly because of absorption, whereas light incident on the milky screen is not transmitted mostly because of scattering. How does this relate to the atmosphere? If you look at a cloud from above, you see it mainly by the sunlight reflected off it or scattered by it. Whereas if you see it from below, a lot of the incident sunlight has been scattered, making the cloud seem darker than the surrounding sky. If you could only see the cloud from below, you would not know whether the darkness was due to absorption or scattering. You can download instructions for this experiment at the Royal Meteorological Society's website.